All right, next up we have Kame. Now, Kame is supremely fabulous. It's a kind of a crow uh, who is very uh, swarthy, standing with, holding a sword. He's got like, he's got wings, but they're also feet or like hands, but they also kind of look like, like crow feet. And with a sword and looking, I'm just like, just so swarthy. I'm so into it. So we got another S tier for Kame. I love it. Next, we have Cerebur. Now, I'm pretty sure this is Cerberus or some kind of Cerberus thing. (laughs) This is a really interesting illustration. So we have the three heads. We have three different kinds of dogs' uh, heads. uh, Very, very different from each other. And then the body of, like, a... uh, like a fat congressman from the 1800s or something, or I don't know, maybe some kind of swashbuckler. And then bird butt with uh, bird feet and a sword. Definitely S tier. I love you. Come home with me. Okay. Next we've got Deuma. Deumus. Now Deumus uh, is like real, almost Oni in the face, like big teeth and big ears and a crown. Uh, human looking but with monster hands and then the legs like like fur going to crow feet and then they're like standing on this person who is like laying on the ground who i'm pretty sure is naked so i don't know what's going on like as long as they're both consenting like do you uh but i'm getting kind of (laughs) so it's like deumus is like oni murder face I'm, i'm not really into it so e for deumus Ayuri Nome has a really, really interesting face. Uh, got that kind of classic, or what I consider like a classic demon. Big sharp teeth, big nose, horns, ears, and kind of a humanoid body crouching. And they look like they might have been wearing some kind of, well, it is, it's a skin, but like, I don't know if it's like a pig skin or a wolf skin or something like that. Kind of crouched. It's actually a really beautiful il- illustration, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I'm, but I'm not, mm, not super impressed. So let's give them a D. All right. Next up we got Flaga. Flaga is riding a vulture, which is cool. And they are fully dressed humanoid with a sword coming at you. Uh, kind of, kind of scary. Actually, it looks like a, a vulture pirate. So let's give Flaga an E. Next up, next up we have Flowros. Flowros looks like somebody who's never seen a cat try to describe a cat to someone else. And maybe they'd seen a cat before, but they didn't know that the first person was describing a cat. <laughs> that makes sense. So we got cat head, kind of humanoid body, like standing uh, upright, but crouched. Monster hands, kind of furry thighs and a tail and like monster feet. Looking like they also, like, just did something wrong and you caught them. You were like, hey, get out, get out of the oatmeal. And they're like, oh, no. So, flowers, definitely S S tier. Next, we got Forcus. Forcus uh, looks like Hagrid, but naked, (laughs) riding a a very sad horse. (laughs) I don't like it, F. All right, next up, we have Furfur. Oh, my gosh, Furfur is a perfect demon. Uh, antlers, deer head, uh, humanoid torso, nice demon wigs with just like all these hooks coming out of them. Great human hands, but then back to deer at the, at the base. Just fabulous, fabulous demon. S tier. All right, next we have Gap. Now Gap reminds me if anyone remembers playing House of the Dead, the first boss you come to is like a big demon dude and like a little demon dude. And like, that's the definitely the same vibes I get here. We have this big demon looking guy, big old ears and, and horns and big wings and the whole thing. And then there's just this like little guy just riding on his shoulders, just trying to get somewhere. I feel that I'm also trying to get somewhere. So you get to see next we have Gomery. Uh, Gomery, first of all, is a nice name. Second of all, it's, uh, the first kind of feminine, what I would consider a feminine, like definitely feminine looking demon. Uh, she's got horns, um, lots of flowing robes. She's riding a camel who's got like a cool hat with a plume on it. Uh, really nice illustration. I really, really enjoy that she's looking over at us, the audience, like, 
Uh huh. And and I am pretty much all about that. So let's give Gomery an A. <laughs> oh no. Next we have Harborum. And I swear I've gotten this picture in my DMs before. Like, uh, uh, we've got a very um, stern, but I think trying to be sensual face. There, But there are three heads. Uh, that one's the middle. There's also a cat head into that. And I'm assuming some kind of snake or lizard, or I'm not really sure. Uh, this is definitely a naked demon, uh, including chest hair and a nipple, like a humanoid nipple, um, holding a torch and ri- I'm riding a snake. Hopefully that snake is not part of this. Anyway, they got an E cause I get the creeper vibes from here. Uh, Epis, um, kind of looks like a lion from behind, but then someone was like, no, 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 put a bird head on the top of it. That's not a lion. It's a bird. It's supremely terrifying. (laughs) C tier. I didn't actually describe that one that well, but too bad. We're moving on. All right. Next up is Lechies and Lechies is amazing. Lechies is full on a goat in a jacket, but they're extremely fat. What, what isn't there to love? So S tier. All right, next we have Leonard. Now Leonard has three horns, grouchy face, a uh, a goatee, wearing very fancy clothes, holding a sword. Uh, They have shoes on. Pretty much, pretty sure this is the first demon I've seen with shoes on, or at least that I remember. So Leonard gets a very special tier, all to himself. It is the L tier for Leonard. Oh no. Next up we have Lucifer. I don't know if like Louis Le Breton didn't like Lucifer or something because they, he depicted Lucifer as like this petulant looking child, got curly, curl, like short, not short, but like kind of longish curls, little tiny horns, looking over at the audience with arms crossed, big booty just sitting there. I don't even know why. And like looking like, hmm. And it's like standing in front of a bush. Hmm. It's just so grouchy. <laughs> it's so funny. B tier. All right, next we have Malthus. Malthus is so fabulous. Malthus looks like something that I have ni- had nightmared about on several occasions. Bird face, like a crow face. Like, I'm guessing feathered butt arms holding some kind of trowel. We've got bird wings behind. Wearing a pair of pants. Which, I'm, I mean, at least they're hiding their shame, right? And then we got big old crow feet. Malthus gets an S tier, of course. S for slacks. Moving on. I think that Mammon might be anti-Semitic. F. Ma- Mar- Marcolius. Marcolius is the goodest boy. It is definitely some kind of doggo. Actually, I think this is might be a the goodest girl because it looks like there might be some uh, nipple action going down there uh, in the appropriate nipple area. I I'm tired. Anyway, fire breathing doggo, angel wings, long tail. I want to give them three treats. S tier. Melchum looks like a pretty cool dude. Like. Actually, this kind of looks like some kind of political cartoon that I don't like, you know, you know, when you were a kid and you saw a political cartoon and it was, it was probably meant a lot, but you didn't get it. That's kind of where I am. C tier. (laughs) Moloch. Okay. (laughs) Moloch is like this cute, cutie cow face on like a king's body. And I'm pretty sure it's movie from dogma and like the burger king king combination i hope that that gives you enough of a description s tier all right up next we have nikar nikar is so good nikar is has a kitty face and a human body although inexplicably one of their hands is like this claw uh and they're on a rock on the ocean Kitty face, S tier. Next. <laughs> All right, we got Ouroboros. Ouroboros has a horse head, uh, a human torso with weirdly shaped 
a weirdly sized demon hands and horse legs. And I think like just Rocky climbed up some stairs and is now has their arms out because they've done it. B tier. All right. We got Paimon. Paimon, a demon that most people have all heard of by now. I'm, I really like this illustration. We have another, uh, camel and the camel's got a much smaller plume this time paimon is has long luscious locks uh, a crown a re- actually a really nice really nice face mostly humanoid but with duck feet digging the duck feet a tier all right next up we have Pruflas. Pruflas is so good Pruflas is like a lion top like with a mane and everything Blowing on a fucking horn. Huzzah. Humanoid body. Although w- one of their legs is going, I don't know where. I'm not sure what's going on there. Riding a bear. I love every moment of this. S tier. All right. Next up we have Ronwe. Ronwe kind of has like Anthony Bourdain vibes in the face. But it kind of looks like, uh, again, going back to this like political cartoon thing. Like a political cartoon about how like Anthony Wardane sucks, I guess, because he's picking his nose, but big head, really long, weird arms, short legs and a tail, uh, and little, little horns holding some kind of stick. Ron, we get to see. Next up, we've got Salos. Salos, uh, looks like a D and D character for sure. Some kind of dwarf riding a, another alligator which is cool but like helmet like a warrior dwarf alligator roll for initiative next we have skox skox i'm not actually sure which one skox is i'm gonna assume it's the weird bird with human arms (laughs) but skox is like uh giving a horse some moral guidance for uh, I don't think it's working too well, or at least maybe maybe they just started because the horse looks pretty sad, but it's like this uh, long-beaked bird, like a heron, but the wings are on the back and it's got human arms. But otherwise, it looks like pretty much like a bird. A tier. Next, we come to the king of all demons, Stolas. Stolas is an owl which, with very, very long legs and has a crown on his head. And, and Stolas gets a triple S tier because Stolas is the perfect demon and I love them forever. All right, next up we've got Yuval or sometimes Wall. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's like a camel was trying to get into an R-rated movie and was dressing up like a man. Like it's like a camel, but has, is wearing some kind of robe and is like, I would like one ticket to Halloween H2O, please. (laughs) C. All right, next we have Volok. Volok, I'm kind of into this because it looks like a cherub. Like, it's a little baby demon with, like, little cherub face, little horns, uh, wings. And they're riding, like, a two-headed bird monster with, like, big demon wigs and stuff. Like, and kind of a sinister face. Like, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I want to be your friend. So, A. And last but not least, we have... Zafan. Zafan has bellows, uh, ears, horns, is blowing, like doing like the big cheeks blowing, and then mostly a humanoid body. What I don't understand is if you have bellows and you're like blowing with your mouth, like what's going on here? Are you just doing some massive wind? Like what, what is this wind? Zafan? Is it because you're a fan? Anyway, you get a B for blowing. <laughs> All right, we did it, everybody. You and me, we made it through 64 Goetic Demons. I would love to know what your list is, or you can just tell me your top five. That would probably make things a little easier for both of us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this shorty. It was really, really fun to go through all of this. It was actually a lot of work to try and compile all of these in, with images that were nice and big and that I uh, could actually see properly. Thank you for joining me. I will see you on, I will see, (laughs) I will talk at you on the next episode of Black Mess Appeal. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hail Satan!